Let's see. From the day that I met you, you have made me believe that anything is possible. You light up every single room that you walk into. If possible. It culture now to A Southern California teenager is overcoming her own disabilities. She's a global ambassador for Team USA. Special Olympic gold medalist Lucy Meyer. Lucy Meyer. Lucy Meyer. I'm Senator Roy Blunt from Missouri. I'm Senator Chris Coons from Delaware. And what Roy and I have in common is we are both huge fans of Lucy Meyer. Would you consider her career in politics? She's in politics over there. She's beloved by literally half of the Senate. Welcome to Washington, D.C., Lucy. Good to have you here. And if there's one thing I've learned, it's that when Lucy Meyer shows up to compete, she shows up to win. What would it look like if we taught children to include rather than to exclude, to teach them how to join together? Who's going to teach them? Who's going to equip the next generation? Here's the good news. It is not going to be a politician. It is not going to be a business CEO. It's going to be taught by Lucy. That lesson is going to be taught by Lucy. When kids with and without disabilities are together, they can learn a lot more from each other and from their teachers and friends and family. She's an electric individual. She does a lot in a day. I really hope that in the meetings that she's had with decision makers, with school leaders, with parents, with kids, that she's kind of infecting them in a positive way with what's possible as opposed to what's impossible. Well, boy, I had no oxygen coming to my brain for five minutes. And the doctors told my parents that I would never sit up or swallow. But by the time I was two years old, I was walking by myself. You are a great example because if you can walk, you can talk, you can move, maybe he can do this in the, in the future. I am so sorry because I know children who have seizures. And it's not fun, I know. Please don't worry because your baby is beautiful the way that she is. We have a program with Special Olympics called Healthy Athletes. It's where all the athletes get to make sure that they are healthy and that they get everything that they need. You're the one I wanna talk about, talk about how to feel, but you knock them out, knock them out. They gave everything. It was just incredible. What do you think is the favorite of all athletes on a fruit? Uh, I actually have no idea. A banana. Everybody uh, around see, the world. See, that's my least favorite. Is it? That's interesting. Yeah, we've been loving so hard. So, so. I'm UNICEF's executive director, and I'm a friend of Lucy's too. I watched the children look into Lucy's eyes, and I felt them see somebody they can actually aspire to be. 
On the one hand, she's an inspiration. She's a role model because she's achieved so much. And on the other hand, she's just like them. Because of Special Olympics, we get to compete just like kids without disabilities because we are no different. We are the same and we are very proud of it and we love it very much. My hope is just that children with disabilities around the world can be included and accepted. They deserve no less. I would like to prize uh, Lucy Mayer, her visit actually, her strength, her passion, her persistence to break the prejudice, to show to the children in Montenegro, but also to other children globally, that there are no barriers. So unfortunately, children with disabilities do not get that many opportunities as the kids without disabilities. Roma families are very close. Children are kept in the house. They don't even go in the yard so others don't know. It doesn't have to be this way. It's not fair to them that just because they have a disability, they have to face so many difficult issues. There's 93 million children under the age of 15 living with a severe disability. Mm -hmm. And my mom asked me, how many of those kids do you want to help? I smiled and said, all 93 million. A school in Wilmington got a gold medal guest today. Some Chicago students got a lesson today in perseverance and pride from Lucy Meyer. What's it like to be famous? Mm -hmm. Are you going to continue working with UNICEF even through college? Yes, of course. I'll never stop helping kids. I mean, that 